So what does that do to our equations? Well, the quantity supplied, nothing's happening to the suppliers now. So the new quantity supplied is the old quantity supplied. 200p minus $100. What about the quantity demanded though? The new quantity demanded, where they used to have p dollars there, we're going to have to put p plus 1 in parentheses. New quantity demanded is 800 minus 100, parentheses, p plus 1. And then let's simplify that. First step is going to be to distribute. And notice that this minus 100 gets multiplied by p, giving you negative 100p. And that minus stays with that 100 as you multiply it by the 1 to give you minus 100. And then from there, we can combine like terms. We have positive 800 and negative 100. Together, that is positive 700. The 100p stays how it is. So we've got the new quantity demanded and the new quantity supplied. And to find the equilibrium, and to find the equilibrium algebraically, we just set those two equal to each other. So let's do that now. The new quantity supplied equals the new quantity demanded. And we're going to go ahead and solve that for the letter P. So first step, same as usual. We're going to get all of the P's on the same side. So there the P's cancel out. Here 200P plus 100P is 300P. The rest stays the same. And then from there we need to get P by itself. So first, to get rid of this minus 100, we're going to add 100. Seven hundred plus one hundred is eight hundred. And the next step having p by itself, we divide by three hundred. So the equilibrium price is eight hundred divided by three hundred, which is two sixty seven. And so remember that two sixty seven is what the farmers get. That's the price that the suppliers will receive. So for the suppliers, they will receive $2.67 per app. On the other hand, what about the demanders? What do they pay? Well, remember, they've got to pay the tax on top of that. So they've got to pay P plus 1. They pay that plus a dollar, which is $3.67. These numbers look familiar? This is the exact same ending result we got when we put a $1 tax on the suppliers instead of the demanders. It doesn't matter who you put the tax on, you get the same ending amounts either way. That suppliers will receive $2.67 when the demanders pay $3.67. So we got the exact same so we got the same amounts there. Our PE was not the exact same, but that's only because it, we used it differently. Here PE is what the suppliers received on the last problem. PE was what the demanders paid. But we still get the same number of answers there when we write out the, what it actually means. And then our quantity will be the same thing. We take this 267, we plug it into either of these formulas. I'm going to plug it into the new quantity demanded because that one seems a little bit easier. So 700 minus 100 times 267. Well, 100 times 267, that's 267 instead of 2.67. And then subtracting those, we get the same thing we had before. An equivalent quantity of, of $433. So no matter who you put the tax on, suppliers receive 267, demanders pay 367, and that's on 433 apples a week that are getting sold in the market.